In this video today, we're gonna to go over a bunch of cool toys from Jazzwares, Bandai, Funko, Pokemon, Zing, Tames and Kamos, Educational Insights, Learning Resources, We Bandai. We are gonna cover all of these toys and more because I went to Toy Fair 2023 just recently and I was there for three days. I have a part one video and if you've already seen it, thank you for coming to this one. Or if you haven't seen that, check that one out next. But we are covering all the coolest toys. So many cool ideas for Christmas coming up and for toys next year. Toy Fair was held in New York City this year. Next year, we're not gonna have it in 2024. We're gonna have it in 2025 again in New York City again. It was gonna be in New Orleans, but the Toy Association changed it back to New York City. And this is a really a good time for all of the toy vendors, uh, shops, influencers to come together and to see what toys are out there and to see what is gonna be the newest trend. <laughs> Come with me to Toy Fair. It, is, it was three days of fun, very tiring fun, but very fun. And we're gonna see a lot of cool toys. I will say that a lot of the toys are based on movies. I will mention the name of the toy, like if it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, but I'm not gonna go into the show because it is a strike right now for SAG-AFTRA and I don't want to do any of that. So just know that if I say Star Wars or such, I am referencing the toy and not the movie because I wanna respect the actors right now. First up, we have Lorcana. It's a trading card game, Disney based, and it is all the rage right now. And the way it's set up is there's certain cards that are only in certain boxes. And so it makes it a little bit harder to trade. And this is how you play. You build, um, you each come with a deck. You don't build a deck, but you come with your own deck. And that's based on the cards that you've gotten from other people and other boxes and you can trade them you can do whatever you want but it's there are some very rare cards and i think these are some of the rarest right here they let me photograph them you can see how they shimmer <laughs> and this is basically how you play and he's going to explain it in just a minute and as characters go on quests you'll get lore first one to 20 wins the the fighting that you were referring to is characters can challenge uh, and usually the loser of that challenge will be banished and so he goes away and will stop helping you. Um. Next up we have Funko and Funko had an amazing booth. It looks like you're in a little Funko town right here and you walk up, you can see all of their licensing and they have these little windows. I was able to go in and we're gonna look at all the Funko sets that are available. I am not a super Funko expert, but I did video them all so you hopefully will be able to tell which ones are new or not so this is their disney collection right here you can see cinderella and then these are from high school musical aren't they cute this one is rainbow bright i believe and then we have some baby yoda uh and then we have some more star wars ip and we have ahsoka right here and then even more star wars obi-wan kenobi darth vader some of these I don't know right off the top of my head, but I would know them, uh, Princess Leia, <laughs> if I was able to study it a little bit. And then Harry Potter over there in the corner, Ted Lasso over here. And then we have all the Marvel characters, Iron Man, Captain America, Hulk. Some of these I don't know. Uh, these are the Guardians of the Galaxy series right here. And right now these ones, I think they're still Marvel. And then these ones are the Pokemon ones. Aren't those cute? My kids love Pokemon right now, love the trading cards. And then here's some more Funko. And then we have Fortnite coming up. And then uh, some of these I just don't know. I know Friends, <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And they have the small figures and then the plush also. We have some Power Rangers right here in all the colors. And then we have the small Power Rangers also over there. And then I'm not sure what these ones are. That could be Simpsons that was there. And then these are just like food based ones. And then up here, I think Aquaman. And then we've got Barbie over here on the side. We've got Ken right there. 
looking sharp. And then right here, Michael Jackson. This is, I think this is the Michael Jackson series, all the, his different looks. Mariah, so you have not only like TV IP, but also, you know, everything else. You have football right here coming up. And you've got music, you've got food, <laughs> Oracle Racing. This is the basketball line right here uh, and baseball on here. And then this is Five Night at Freddy's, uh, horror, cause you know, <laughs> it's that time of year. Then we have Disney. This is the advent calendar coming out. Aren't these all so cute? And then the Spider-Man one, Superheroes DC. And then we have our Harry Potter advent. And then these ones are pop and they're just small little ones. I don't believe their heads move. And then we have more pop bitty pops. They're super cute and super good for like stocking stuffers. If you just want to have them in there. And these are all the ones that they come in. You got Star Wars. This one is, I'm not sure which those ones were. Mickey and Minnie maybe. Another event calendar, Pokemon. Now we have our Disney, uh, Hello Kitty, Spider-Man, Mickey over there. This is a horror a little bit. Yes, this is the horror one <laughs> right here. Uh, this is the scary one. Oh, except for Wednesday is not scary. I love Wednesday. And then this is just a mix of everything. This was on a table, a show table that was there. And we've got lots of them. And then over here, I'm not sure what those ones were. And then more, this is the Disney Bitty Pop. And those are all the different sizes. And I don't think the big one heads moved either. And then the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Funko Ween. So you've got all their different ones. We saw a little bit of them already, but the ones that are themed for Halloween. And then E.T. was up there. I think Harry Potter. I'm not sure what these ones are. Are these like anime? I think so. The Office right there. And then we've got more football and baseball. Halloween. I'm not sure on those. Let's see. You will be able to tell me in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite Funko character was that we saw. Oh, aren't those cute little mini mini? Oh, oh my gosh, I love Baby Yoda. Or Grogu as they call him. More Star Wars IP. These are smaller. Or just out of the box. I think these ones are smaller. And then we've got Disney over here. Cute little ones. Actually, they might be the regular size. Marvel. We have more Funko. I think these are a collection of like everything. WrestleMania, that gold mask is fun. Now a little car and then Five Night at Freddy's. This one was a little scary. This was all over New York City when I was there. I was like, I'm a little scared. <laughs> like the subway had adverts for it. And then these are little boxes like it you would have for like movies and they have i'll show you all the different ones they have and they have little cards that come with them so you see beauty and the beast and this reminded me of something at the other place of so pinocchio dumb and dumber at basic fun they also had this idea toy story lulu and stitch so it's really they're bringing back a VHS idea, Fantasia, but the and the blockbuster idea with it. And then these are soda ones. You can see, I think they come in the can. I'm not sure I should have asked, but this was what they look like outside of the can. What would be inside? And then we've got another table of lots of good. These ones look like an anime. Yes, and now I'm going back over it again. And then we got Fantasia, Dumbo, Bad, oh, I don't know, Bond, The Edge, oh, Mariah again, Born Again, let's see, Go-Go's, Thor, X-Men with a comic book behind it, Stan Lee, I think he has his own, 
then we have some plush over here and then this is the ones from Japan I would believe more anime now we're gonna get into the games and this is a Disney animated game there was a lot of Disney 100 at Toy Fair I noticed that was a definite trend this one has different animations through the stories Alice in Wonderland 101 Dalmatians this is a coca-cola game peanuts game over there we have Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer so this would go along nicely with you know Christmas themed the scream game that one looks scary and then that's that's an IP collection I mean, vinyl collection and then this is some of their clothing that they have and they have purses these are just like super cute I don't know how much they run but I think those are like the cutest, like walking around with a purse like that. How cute would that be? One of my friends had one of those. Uh, and then these are some of the games. We have Pan Am, we like, and Back to the Future. And what else is over here? Just some of the games. And here's some more of their games. Goonies. They have a lot of really fun games. Goofy, Indiana Jones game. And then this was more of those VHSs from the other side. I don't know if they're duplicates from what was on the other side. Hagrid's Hut. And then a little um, Minnie Mouse. Now we're going to go to Pokemon. They were actually not showing like a ton of stuff at Toy Fair. But I was able to grab some of the items that we had from Sweet Sweet that were new this year. And there was a little bit they let me film. But they didn't really have a whole much. So it's 151 Here's, here's some of the celebrations for these. And then these are some preschool books right here. Uh, grass, fire, and water, which teaches kids about that. And then we have some of the 151 collections, some of the boxes that come out. I don't know how rare these are or not. I think some of them were. And here's more. This was at Toy Fair, some of the Pokemon boxes. So some of them could be new. Let me know in the comments if you see anything that you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen that before. Because there wasn't really anyone to like show me or kind of tell me about it. I'm not sure. So now, next up, we are going to Bandai. And Bandai has a lot of action figures. And I apologize. I got some of them, but it was like a long day and I was like, I am not going to film everything. So I filmed like the cutest things I saw. There was a lot of other items from Bandai. They had like a double booth. It was really big. It was like double the Lego booth. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But these, I think these are the Posket ones are so cute. These little, oh, look at them sleeping. I think I was like, oh my gosh, these are so cute. But I do have a lot of Bandai. It's just, yeah. So then this is their Nano Blocks and some of the different themes for those. And then we're gonna get into... Let's see. So the Mega Cat ones are all just uh, cat figures based off of anime characters. So here are the Naruto ones, and then there's also Sailor Moon, there's One Piece. This, this one is all uh, Naruto. Okay. These are cute. <laughs> so he has some levels of articulation. I've seen this other statues that are just like acrylic. Yeah, this yeah. one's the. Maybe one day. Yeah. 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 Oh wow, they're cute. Oh, and okay. some of the spring. Okay, cute. Set of six, um, and they're as small as like the ones right here. And these ones are divided by uh, types. So we have water, mm -hmm. fire, and so on. Um, and cute. These are six in a set, and then we even go. We have really, really large Pokemon too. Those are deluxe kids with oh, thousands of pieces. That's, That's cute. cute. Pretty wild. These are cool kids where you can build your own Pokemon. Mm -hmm. um, very similar to how we build our Gundams on that side, we do the Pokemon. Cute. Theater? Oh, I like that. That would be fun to do. It was really interesting. And then we also yeah. have Pokemon puzzles, which we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. And the puzzles are, uh, we have a wide variety of puzzles where some are 
semi-translucent, so you can see through them. We have this little bit of dark one, oh, wow. where a different Pokemon actually appear under a black light. And we have the artboard ones, which are like plastic, and they end up looking like a candle spread. Yeah. Lots of cool things for Pokemon. And like I said, Bandai had a really big booth. That was some of their paper crafting, which I thought looked awesome. And here's some more sets that they have. You can't get everything here in the United States. This is their Nano Block collection. I think their Nano Block collection is pretty big, but some of the Studio Ghibli items that I'm gonna show you, you cannot get in the US. So just let me know if there's items that you want in here, comment below. And if like enough people comment, then maybe like Bandai will be like, oh, we should bring that to the US. And here's some more nano blocks. Cause basically what Toy Fair is, is a way, oh, here's Totoro. This is a lot of the Studio Ghibli stuff that they do not have in the United States. And my daughter loves Totoro and Spirited Away. And so she was just like in heaven looking at some of these videos. She's like, oh, I want that one, I want that one. But, uh, yeah, so if there's things that you want, let them know. But Toy Fair is a way for them to be able to showcase what they have. And then and then this puzzle is a puzzle right here. You can see the pieces. But it's a way... F yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? And it's a little bit transparent too. So you can really see it through the light. But Toy Fair is a way for them to showcase what they have. And then like retailers or stores will come in and place orders. So not necessarily everything you see at a trade show will you see in the stores, but there's a potential to see it. But if there's enough interest, if people like me make memes about things they see and they're really popular, then they'll be like, oh, we need to sell them here. So those are soot sprites. And then we have some more Spirited Away items and all those puzzles that we saw over there. And look at the, all these little cute things. Like I want to get some of them for my daughter. I'm like, where can I find them? And this is more of their paper crafting. They have a lot of things and I think it would be fun to do a video on some of their paper crafting because it's so intricate and it looks so pretty. There's just so many different items that you can. And here's some little bags and then more stuffed animals. And then the Totoro bag, which I need to find, like go to Japan and figure out some more of their paper crafts. They're just so pretty. And then we're going to get into Tamagotchi next, and she's actually going to tell you about that one. But here's some. They have a lot of stationery, too. And I think it's just so cute, especially since I'm in that like niche, like the stationery. And here's Tamagotchi. So this is the original Tamagotchi. This actually has the same programming that it did in 1997. Um, we keep them fresh by updating the okay. shells. So these are some of the newer shells that just came out. 1999, available at Amazon or on Amazon. Um, again, same play pattern. You feed it, you um, clean its poop, make sure it's clean, make sure it's happy, and keep it alive. Yeah. licenses that you will recognize. So here we have the anime, so Kaizen, Demon Slayer, there's Kingdom Hearts, on the other side there's Spy Family, um, Star Wars, Toy Story, back there there's and it features characters from that favorite I IP yeah. and license. Um, same play pattern, you take care of it, you nurture it, and there are some mini games uh, to coincide with. Uh, no. Here, the hug mys. So these are available for certain IPs, um, but it's just a, a little holder for your Tama Nano. And these are all available. So this is okay. the feature Tama for this year. Uh, we we're super, super excited to launch this back in July. The Uni, it's definitely unique. Oh, right, yeah. Um, it's universal in that there are certain aspects of the game. Um, so if I show you the Tamaverse, which is the metaverse of the Tamagotchi world, right, right, right. there um, is the Tama party where you can take your Tama and go on a date and maybe propose. You can take your Tama to uh, on a trip and travel. There is the Tama Arena where um, this 
my first date. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is the Tama Arena where there are certain challenges and your Tama can participate in where your the Tama can par participate in different challenges. Um, and other users across the globe will also participate in those same challenges. Um, uh, you need points to go on trips. You need points to buy food. So there's an arcade where you can play games and earn points. Um, the ability to connect to Wi-Fi allows you to access the system updates and downloads. We're gonna say no. Oh no, gosh. <laughs> Is it okay to leave? Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. You're <laughs> sad. Did you love him? That's and have them off. How many things can I fit on my wrist? Yes. <laughs> it is an interactive gamified band. Um, so, premise of this is to encourage the user to get up and move. So, whether it's you know completing the mission of twenty seconds worth of punches or thirty seconds worth of squats or a sprint, as you complete these challenges and achieve your goals for the day, you um, will help your character level up. So you'll watch your Batman character level up and grow. Well, this is almost dead. Um, also a watch and counts your steps. Uh, this is $64.99. It includes the Batman character part. Additionally, you can purchase uh, the BHM card with other DC characters, the heroes and villains, for $19.99. The band also includes an option to saddle somebody with another user of a Vital Hero device. Uh, it's great for the kids A plus or anybody A plus really, and available on Amazon. Really a fun and unique way to get people up and moving and encourage movement. Um, in a fun way. Next up we have Fun in Motion Toys and their motto is really in their name. They're fun and they like motion and they are like some of the funnest people. Look at there I am standing next to them and they just had so many fun things at their booth. I was it was really a good time and these are little puzzles he's going to show you how what you can do with it. Next, we have some SpongeBob SquarePants in the same and last Airbender. And we partnered with an inventor um, who's actually an artist on this. All of our products really have the sense of movement. This one in particular has this construction element too. This is Eric, he's our huh. inventor. Okay. Hello. And so Hi. essentially, it's this building system that you get in the box. Mm -hmm. You can look take at this one. Okay. Yeah. You take the tiles and build them together, the, just the options are, are oh, okay. limitless in terms of the shapes and structures that you can make. And they're movable. And they, and they move. Wow. There's different movements. Depending on how the cubes are configured, uh -huh. the different movement is created. And some of them have like three-dimensional features like this one. So it can move like this in one dimension. But there's an intersection in dimensions there. Oh, that's cool. You want to see some more? Yeah. Okay, so this one is similar. It also has this movement like this. But at its most open state, it opens from the center. Oh, wow. And when you close it up, it becomes a staircase. And then what you can also do is you can make this uh, architect because this has also that movement. Yeah. And you can make these architectural structures. Yeah. 
and it also comes with a little bit of cube that you can uh, use to lock the system in place like that. Uh, and it's all it's all this. This is all that there is. You click them together and you build the structure. You, you build the structures using video manuals and the, the product is comes like this. You have single tiles here, swings open, and you have your double tiles here. And it also comes with a little tool to open the structures. If you want to take them apart, it looks like this. See? You take it apart. Yeah. Five toys in the line. Uh -huh. uh, this, the smallest one is going to be this this guy that I was showing you, the Digi. Hold in those three positions we were talking about. These are great. So I love to like cast a net with them. You can mess with them like this. They're great for keeping in your pocket, getting out some nervous energy. We got. You can see the some packaging there. That's it comes through. So another one of those. Here you can see that full line. So we have these two, which I like to think of as like the pocketable ones. You're able to keep them on you pretty easily, get out some nervous energy. These are where they start to step up into more of like you're sitting down, you're exploring them, you're figuring out what you can do with them. And just within one of these, you know, there's tons of different motion. Each one of these, because you can flip it inside out, has like six different positions it can be in. And especially when you get to like these larger ones, there's 30 different joints on here. Oh, right. So you can really like mess around with it and make a lot of interesting shapes. This is one of my let's see here. Oh, one of my favorites. It's like a, a, a wheel accordion kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I love it. You mess around with it like that. Okay. This is brand new. The deluxe set. See how they come? Okay. Like Pringles. Forty-eight tiles. I thought this one was really fun, just the different shapes that you can get with it. I love their geometry that they have here because it. I took a lot of advanced math classes, and like you don't, we don't talk about the spatial geometry a lot. So this is really good just to introduce kids to some of that spatial geometry. So when they get into calculus and they have to deal with things like parabolas and stuff, they ha they can have this memory or even bringing this into like a calculus class. I think would be kind of cool because then you get like this 3d shape because when you're doing stuff for calculus it's not just like a 1d thing and it's all things and then these are i don't exactly know what they're called but you can put them on your body and i am going to in a minute put them on mine too they're just like a fun relaxing thing to do i could just see like sitting there relaxing there for a while see how kind of relaxing it is and she's gonna give me another one here in a minute and show me like that you can do like two at once I'm like okay <laughs> so now I have two and I'm like oh my gosh what am I gonna do with both of them but look at that you can have both of them on at the same time and they flatten pretty easily for storage and look at that, like you can have them on both arms or going together, and this is on a hoop. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I want LEDs coming off of them. I want RGB LEDs coming off of the sides of each of them because our RGB are RGB reactive. And imagine like, I've had a... <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Um, so we have Wizard Potion Science Kit, which is our new uh, for this year, and it was a 12 year finalist. So what this is, is it comes with ingredients, you can make up to five different elixirs, and you're combining and learning chemistry. So, all completely edible and drinkable. Um, you have a color changing potion, a fizzing potion, frog's eggs, which is kind of like boba ish right, in yeah. a way, um, anti gravity, and then slide seed potion. I think this is really fun for like Halloween yeah. time and like an activity. So that one's really good. And then we have like our tried and true tasty lab stuff, which is gummy candy lab. Um, over here we have cookie glowing candy lab. That'll be new for next year. Okay. Um, obviously, everything's edible, safe to eat, and fruit. Yeah. So, this is a really huge um, find for us. Yeah. <laughs> then we have our ooze labs, um, which kind of goes with these two labs. Um, this is like teaching the young ones the foundation of chemistry. Oh, and, right, right. Um, all that good stuff. So, we have the crystal growing kits, an instant snow machine maker. Um, Alien slime labs, rainbow tie labs, so a lot yeah. of um, chemistry involved, but they're actually like you can use it. So we have right. socks, you know, a little hair tie, um, comes with gloves and everything. And then, of course, like if you have your own stuff, like say you buy a white yeah, t shirt, yeah, yeah. you can totally use. Um, yeah. The ingredients and stuff here. This one's fun, and I know uh, last year, this came out last year, a lot of people love this one. So. Yes, that's new as well. Um, teaching all about the human body and organs. Uh, but still very doable for a lot of you know kids. So Trainbots was also a Toy of the Year uh, finalist. This one is so adorable. It's steampunk themed. Um, you're building this completely yourself. You're able to make two different uh, configurations. So this one rolls, it has wheels, and that one walks. Okay. Um, and then once it's completely built, you're able to add water to into this part and it actually creates a vapor and we have an LED light so kind of you can see up here oh, it blows up steam as it's going it's really adorable. Oh, that's cool. Um, we also have hydraulic boxing box which is huge this year kind of similar like a rock and sock robot mm -hmm. it's familiar built again completely and it comes with these and then you can fight each other it's a lot of fun. Um, and then if you're looking for something like you know, a little bit more uh, mature and you're trying to get your child involved in AI, we have Kai. He won a toady this year um, for special toy of the year. And Kai is this YouTube video. This is what he looks like. It's very adorable. Over here. Um, and we've developed an app specifically for him. So you're actually building the robot and then you're going onto the app and you're programming the robot based on your arm movements, your body movements. So, I mean, this one's fun because you can make different faces, it'll change. Um, so you can connect them, you can add the faces, um, and then what you do is you'll collect all the data. So if you're sitting here, you're like, oh, right arm, table forward, and collect the data, then it'll train the robot, and then once you're all done, you're able to play with him and interact with him. Oh, that's cool. We also have a sound, um, he also works off the sound, but for the purposes of the show, we're not doing sound just because it's a little hard. Um, but definitely really awesome for Ah. Gecko run. So oh, yeah. this is kind of like a marble run. This is new for next year, probably February. Okay. Um, comes with marbles. Okay. This sticks to anything. Yes. There's nothing like no residue. You could stick it to your clothes. It's not going to leave anything. Also leaves no residue on this. Um, and all you have to do is stick it to a smooth surface. So it could be a wall. And we have another robot. This is really good for that preteen, teen age gumball machines. Just it takes a little bit more effort than like a two to five toy. This is like more seven to 12, 13 in Spy Labs. Just those kids that can do things on their own but have fun and learn at the same time as you're using some of these things. I think maybe some of the younger kids could use the Spy Labs, but these like exit games are gonna be a little bit older. We've played some of these and they even have advent calendars now, which is really exciting. 
And here's some of their games that they have. Dodo and Dimension we have. Catch the Moon. Ingenious. Lord of the Rings. New Not Talk. My Island. Um, so what's new for this year is uh, Magic Whispers Katie. So this is all about like playing with secrets and telling secrets and hearing secrets that no one else can hear. So it uses um, a bone conducting sound technology like what underwater divers use. So you um, ha can hear it like through your temple or through your forehead, what she's saying to you. So it feels very magical, oh. but no one else around you can hear it. Oh, that's cool. Um, so how it works is you press her magical heart in the middle. And she has three modes of play. So she has, um, she said, ask me, answer no questions. So this is kind of like fortune teller mode. She tells funny cat jokes. Um, and then she tells you with uh, secret uh, messages like, I miss you so much, oh, or I love you. So very sweet things like that. So this is a yes or no question. So I'm going to say, are you going to be the hottest toy of the year? Now, normally I would just like press her up against here. <laughs> if it were really quiet in here, it's very loud, like the AC yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything, the yeah, door. Um, I would be able to hear it, and you wouldn't be able to hear her answer. But actually, okay. Milo showed me this trick, yeah, 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 and it really works. Okay, so I'm gonna have you try it. Um, okay, so it's the news of the day. Yeah. Um, so they have lots of other cute, like uh -huh. extra long oh, arms and legs that actually hang yeah. on to your arm, and then their legs will snuggle, their f cheeks light up. And they purr, and they um, you have to nurture them. Okay. And um, they react to accessories like it, when it's time to be fed. So super cute lion. Aww. I know, so cute. Aww. So their paws and their um, little tushy are weighted, so Aww. they're like so snuggable. Yeah. And they you know purr and snore and yeah. just very cute to snuggle. And then I'm sure you've seen Adam. Um, He's out now, though. He's out now. Yes, he so, was um, out. But he yeah. it continues to sell every year, so oh, good. <clears throat> and it continues yeah. to be popular. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so I have um, 1,500 gel beads mm -hmm. per minute, um, so it's it's okay. cool. Yeah. But the great thing, number one, selling to our own brands okay. um, at Mass Retail. So their new item is the Vector Stunt Plane. Okay. So this is an RC plane that flies up to 35 miles per hour. Wow. It has a 600 foot range from your controller. But if it flies outside that range, it'll circle and land softly and beep. I really want to get one of these for my son because they have the GPS. We've lost some drones before and this chocolate pen is really cute. And then we have this little shark here, Mega Chomp. Looks really cute. Next up is astronaut ice cream. And this is like my favorite ever. I love just snacking on these. They have some new flavors, the mint chocolate chip and I think a different one. Also, they have apple cider apple wedges raspberries i think there's pineapple is there and then we are on to jelly belly next and i just had to stop at this booth they had some little packets that they were letting people have also and i'm like this is my fuel for the show but look at all these cute little different items that you can get with jelly bellies i love that gumball machine the lollipops the little bags and then these are like their themed ones, the A&W Cold Stone Creamery, the Boba Milk Tea is new, we got Soda Shop Popcorn. I love the popcorn flavor. This is their Harry Potter flavors. And I'm going to zoom in on a little bit on this so we can get, you know, birdie bots. And then next up we're at Asthma Day. This is the Beavers game. It looked like a lot of fun. And next up coming up is Jen Smack, and I'm gonna let him explain it, but it is a super fun game and I love, I, we have it. I'm excited to play it. You want Jen Z? Sure. What country rap song broke the Mariah Carey and Boyz II Men's record for the most weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 in 2019? Rap, uh, country rap song. 2019? In 2019. 2019. Oh, Big Town. Uh, Old Town Road, yeah. Old Town Road, very yeah, good. Yeah, there you go. And believe me, like with family, yeah. like, like the storytelling that happens yeah. is crazy. Yeah. What sci-fi film based on the director's childhood imaginary friend became the highest grossing movie of the 1980s? E.T. Childhood friend of, a, a childhood uh, imaginary friend. I didn't even know that. Yeah. Catchphrase. Okay. Um, the, the timer is a random amount of time. Okay. And it's a team game. So you're basically passing it, a card back and forth. Okay. Taking turns doing clues. 
and then um, at the whoever's holding it at the end is going to be out for that. Okay. Game from okay. this spring, and uh, it absolutely exploded in popularity. Okay. We, we are distributing it now. Okay. Uh, but it's not like new to market now, but it is okay. a party game, obviously. Okay. Uh, even the box doesn't have a lot of, a number of different games. And you can roll it as well, They're like ramps that you can roll it up. I just, oh, okay. okay. This is the diagnosis game. And we weren't quite sure on how to play this, but it has to do with symptoms. And you put them down so like this one says i only have teeth on my lower jaw and you put all of your symptoms out and i think you figure out like what you have or something like that like i said i'm not exactly sure because we didn't know but then just me over here asmodee has some really great grades splend games <laughs> splendor azul ticket to ride and Catan is and heat this one is really hot i think it's very hard to get a pedal to the metal I think it was a Kickstarter um, concept and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And then these are their party games, strategy games. They have it all classic. And this is probably not even all their games. They have games for kids. Like if you need a game, Asmodee is the one to go. And then this is a special ticket to ride where Legends of the West, where it is a different game. Every time there's expansion pack, well, there's different boxes aside. It's really heavy game and it's new for this year and to celebrate. Collection that we added all this light show features on. This was also a Tony finalist, the Ground Force Elite. So this is a legit go-kart. Um, it has a hub motor and it has a gas and a brake pedal. Oh, that's cool. On it, so it's like real maneuvering yes. there. And, need, and this is our first item that has a reverse feature. We've okay. never done that before on um, oh, wow. any of our electrics, yeah. so you like, can reverse back out. So. so this is the Rambler range. These two here are seated electric scooters. Oh, um, cool. More for kids. Similar to the dirt bikes, basically, spec-wise, uh -huh. but they have this different styling, this, this fun retro styling. Okay. That's two e-bikes. Okay. Um, this is a kid's e-bike, and then these are adult. These go almost 20 miles per hour. Oh, okay. So they're legit. So they're here, um, just different price points. This is our biggest and newest one. It's EcoSmart Cargo, so you can carry a passenger on the back, or the seat could come off and you could put a little basket on there as well. And it has a speedometer, and you can change the speeds. How fast? Uh, I think that about 18 miles per hour. This is Rolly. This is our some of our junior uh, items. This is Rolly DLX. It also yeah. has the light up deck and light up wheels. And then it's a grow with me, so the seat can adjust higher up as they get bigger, and then it can come off also really easy, so they can just turn it straight into a stand up. Oh right, 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 yeah. Stand up scooters. So you just turn that a little bit, and it just pops right off and goes right back on when you want. Oh, Same cute. thing. The handlebars can go up or down. Okay. Oh, yeah. And this is the dash. So uh -huh. this is also a grow with me. You start out as a balance bike, a foot to floor, uh -huh. learn to balance. And then after they've mastered that, it becomes powered. You can turn it on. And then okay. there's a little parent speed switch to decide how fast they can go. So you start out in low and it goes really slow. And then they right. can take so it off with some tools and turn it to high. And it goes just a little bit faster. Okay. But nothing too crazy for little guys. It's got the traditional razor twist grip. It's a real comfortable ride for the kids. Yeah. Rip Rider Mini. This is a um, the little version of the rip, big Rip Rider there. It's got okay. the caster wheels for spinning and drifting. The seat can adjust a little bit here as well. It's it's a pretty fun fun ride to drift around and spin. It's a little caster trike. All right. This is the Kick to Glow. So this so, item so is fun because it's another lighted scooter, but the wheels are what generate the deck light, and so there's no batteries in it at all. Oh, cool. And it has this fun try me packaging. Oh, that's cool. So no batteries ever need to be replaced, and it just, the wheels generate the deck lights. 
This is our original kick scooter line, but we've just made them fun and all these fun wraps and graphics on them. They're special edition graphics, something a little bit different for, you know, every kid wants to have their own custom scooter that looks is special right, to yeah. them. New, new paint job, a new deco, new design, so they just kind of... Where does it make the noises at? Over here. I love riding the rails. Don't you? The train is departing the station. We love Lionel trains and this Disney 100 is really amazing. I have, we have two Lionel trains. I have the Crayola one. And let me tell you about these is you can only get these, like there's six of them. You can only get them at special places. They're going to be very hard to get all of them. Like some of them you have to go to certain expos to get. But then here's some more of their trains. Thomas the Train, Frozen, the Disney 100 box. We have Toy Story, Willy Wonka. Was that Thomas the Train right there? Thomas and Friends, Harry Potter trains. They make really good trains. I have a Crayola one is what I was trying to say. Frozen 2, Pennsylvania Flyer. This is a different color for Disney 100. This next one, what is that one? So yeah, this I'm is the Three Doodler Star. Star Plus. This is our latest offering for 6 to 13. It's a low temperature 3D pen, so you're able to draw directly onto your skin and then the material that it uses is actually home compostable so it can be thrown out into a compost heap. It's also safe if someone happens to consume this material. So it's a really great material because it takes around 30 seconds for it to fully harden and as you can see it can drown it but we can still make really complicated and fun things. This is a ball that we've made or you can use it for upcycling. This is for a candy dispenser that we made that dispenses our catalog. Um, and so it's just a really fun and exciting item that kids can get behind and have a ton of fun. It's USB rechargeable, so it's great for on the go. And it comes with over 72 strands of material, which is over two to three hours of playtime right off the bat. Three the door start plus. Awesome. I am amazed by his talent. He makes all these things with the 3D pen. It really inspires me. I'm like, okay, I need to go home and do this. You're going to spend a lot of time, but I think it would be amazing and fun to do just get in on this and go for it. And then this is the three little flow. This is our eighth generation 3d pen for ages 14 plus. Um, we're now introducing it because it's the most common standard filament. This is still an amazing device that we now have an LCD controller. We have updated uh, indicators to tell you what the heck's going on when you're using the device. It's still a wonderful device that can create nearly anything. And I can still do the drawing vertically. So I will draw up. And then with PLA, it takes around six seconds for it to fully harden. And then once it's fully hardened, you can just snap away. So you can use more and different materials than our other pens. So for example, this is a fidgets device that we made with it, or a D12, or say like a working ukulele. Wow. <laughs> and for the show, we even did a marble maze run um, where you can then control the marble maze using this doodle. And then the doll, the ball dispenser is this fish. Oh, ah, I lost. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the three doodle or flow. So this one, the other one, it, and this was a dress they made for fashion week. It will be a little hotter than the other ones, 
but you can make more stuff with it. And this is actually wood colored. So you can use this on your floors, in your home. If you need something, he made a little box out of it. Like I said, his creativity knows no bounds. Like every time I visit his booth, I just love seeing all his little creations. <laughs> Look at that. Like it just inspires me. And this hand is really fun. He's going to show us how to use it. It's just, I can't believe. I'm like, wow, very amazing. I want you to listen to me there, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fun. Snap FM. Uh -huh. So build your own FM radio. You can tune through the stations. You can control the volume. Uh, and you learn about radio waves in addition to... No, right here. Oh, that's the yeah. okay. And as you can see, it's got great pickup. We're in the jam yeah. um, So this is available now. Okay. And we've got coming out in January our flight deck. Okay. So uh, you get four different builds in this. And my favorite build is the paper airplane launcher. Okay. So. That's awesome. Or UFO, which okay. see if I catch it. Oh. It's a completion. Yeah. Uh, you learn about aerodynamics, you learn about lift, you learn about wind tunnels. So if I were to drop this right here, this would hit the fan and fly off. Yeah. But you cut the bottom out of a cup and you learn about wind currents. Uh, and then finally with this one. You can launch this ball, okay. which is super fun. I won't show you how it works. Then I'd have to go chase it uh, all the way up there. Yeah. But so that's that's new for January. Okay. We have our nightlight coming out next summer, okay. and you can see it right here. It's a fantastic light. You can see stars uh, and planets here. We've got one with fish. We've got one with dinosaur. We've got a disco one. It's really just an absolute. Yeah. And so again, you think about kids can building. It's in their room. They control it. They turn it on. Turn it off. So if we do, and you guys do decide to hand over your Walmart business over to us on whatever excuse, like right? If you guys get into this product will be in Target okay. uh, in, for Easter. Okay. And so what you get is uh, a relatively simple circuit battery pack light. It comes with three eggs. You can color the eggs and it comes with a die cut basket. And so it's just a fun little basket stuffer. Oh, that's cute. And then for Christmas next year, or for holiday next year, we're going to have a fiber optic tree. Again, just a fun little stocking stuffer that you can, uh, that you can put in stockings. Build your own holiday ornament. So these lights will light up. It's kind of our little snowflake uh, right here. there. And then even for Halloween, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you carve your pumpkin, you don't really want to put a candle in oh, there. And then you get those yeah. two lights that last for maybe a half hour. Well, we've got a snap circuit light that lights up your, your pumpkin. Safe, you can always change the batteries if uh, you know they, they die over time, but it's a, oh, great, yeah, it's a great way to safely uh, prepare for Halloween. Uh, we've got our brick structures, mm -hmm. uh, and so these are patented adapters for snap circuits to connect with any of your brick builds. Okay. Um, this is our green energy. This won Toy of the Year last oh. year, and so it's a great way to learn about alternative forms of energy. So you learn about solar, you learn about wind, you can uh, create electricity with a hand crank, you can use uh, cola to create a battery, and then you can see how that charges your car. That makes sense. Uh, and then this one will teach about coding over here. Mm -hmm. So there's a snap circuits app, app that this connects to. Mm -hmm. And then you can, with your phone, turn on the lights in certain orders. Okay. You can uh, make sounds go. You can make the UFO go up in the air. Oh, okay. And you can do all of that with your phone. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And so this guy is all about motion. So you can see there's a lot happening right here because mm -hmm. we've got multiple projects happening at the same time. But you learn about gears, you learn about pulleys. Uh, here's a little bit of that wind tunnel I showed you before. That's cool. I'll get one of Geach tech. Okay. So these are our buildable robot kits. Okay. Uh, these are kind of our two top sellers. This is Mech 5. He's a coding robot. So you use this mm -hmm. little wheel to teach him what to do. Okay. Uh, so you put the pins in certain orders and you can put a, a pen in, in his little uh, claw here and have him drive around and draw. 
Uh, it can throw, so right now he's set up to throw. Uh, he can throw this ball. Uh, he can even play soccer, which okay. is pretty pretty neat. And then this is this is one of my favorites. This is our Hydrobot arm. Mm -hmm. So you build it, you control it, you can pick stuff up, and it's all done through hydraulics. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Launching in summer next year. This okay. is Snap to It, which okay. is the Snap Circuits board game. It's the board game where strategy meets science. And so what happens yeah. is you can play up to four players. There's a communal battery. Every player gets a light. And then you draw cards to pick your pieces. So this person has played a three snap piece. So they'll put a three snap piece on the board. And your goal is to build a circuit from the battery to your light to light the light. So let's see here if I can. Absolutely. Yeah. And then, like, you know, if you get these in the like, we're, we're here to partner with you guys. We'll carry those items. Um, we're yeah. First party DLC. Ah, here we go. Okay. So it would still appear on site as soldiers if I will. It would still get the whole Walmart experience. We're not market place sellers. Okay, got it. So, so I've used my snap wire. The light goes on. I won. Okay. And then gameplay is 10 to 20 minutes. So every time we play this with kids, they want to take it back down and play it again. And you can play offensively, you can play defensively. There are some fun cards in here, like steal any piece, pick a person to skip their next turn. Okay, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. And then what our this is what our packaging is going to look like okay. going forward. Yeah. Really bright, really fun, really energetic. Yeah. You really get a good sense of what this is, how it works, and that it's fun. You're yeah. going to learn things as you go along. Yeah. But you're going to have a good time while you're learning. Okay. Perfect. That's why we say Snap Circuits is where learn and play collide. Yeah. Next up is Jazzwares, and they make a lot of really cool toys. Bum Bums is their new item coming out, I think, this year, and they're all so cute. This is the maker of Squishmallow, and you can't get these giant furniture things, but I think they should sell them. That chair would be amazing in like a playroom or something, and that tree for Christmas time. So here's the Squishmallows. We all love Squishmallows. A Christmas tree made out of Squishmallows. That would be awesome. And here's a, a zoomed out version of it. And then they made a sleigh, and I got to sit in it, and it was a lot of fun, and my daughter was jealous. She's like, I wanna sit in a Squishmallow sled. Next up is Coco Melon. It's been a hot toy for a long time. We're going to see this new one. It dances, and we're going to get a little demonstration of it. This season, this is Dancing JJ, and he has three different modes. There's the dance mode, there's the stop and slow mode, and then there's the teaching mode. Oh, cool. That was pretty awesome, right? Now we have a Coco Melon playset, and here's some of the other items they have for Coco Melon. Hello Kitty and Friends. These are so cute. I don't know if these ones are coming out this year or like early spring, but all these are so cute. I love Hello Kitty, and I'm like, oh my gosh, they are like the cutest ever. And look at those ones, the pink ones. And then we have this Adopt Me playset over here, and I'll let him explain the game. So Adopt Me is the number one game on, is it? Uh, on the Roblox platform. Yeah. And uh, we're doing everything from play sets to plush to action figures. These blind uh, mystery pet eggs have little figurines in them, and then other ones have plush inside of them. I'll give you a couple um, to take with you, too. Okay. And... The great thing about this line is they all come with digital codes that allow oh. you to download a an accessory or another character and play in the game. It's usually that costs Robux, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's the same like it's meant to be like yeah. Yeah. Okay, you don't well, have to use Ro yeah. Robux, but yeah, 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 the yeah. characters that you get are exclusive oh, to Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. And then what we're excited to also we're not de it debuted late earlier this year, but we're just kind of ramping up. Mm -hmm. This is Dev Series, and what we're doing with Dev Series is working with Roblox game developers directly to turn their IP into toys oh, and products. Okay, yeah. So we used to make Roblox toys under the Roblox Roblox brand, yeah. and now we're foregrounding the actual game itself. Mm -hmm. 
and I think it's really given. In Pokemon, we have the uh, we have the master toy license for Pokemon. Okay. It's really given us a great chance to reach its entire audience. So we've got plush Squishmallows Pokemon, which uh, was just awarded uh, the toadies. And the plush, which I think are just Aww. like, they're super soft. Cute. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And they come in different sizes too. And, and, yeah. And then we've got action figures, play sets. Um, mm -hmm. The carry cases came out last year and we've had three cents, but they fold up into a very nice backpack that you can travel with. Mm -hmm. It's contained, but it's also pretty detailed and it mm -hmm. comes with little action. There's now a huge fad with advent calendars. Oh, right. Which, when I was young, we only got chocolate inside. But yeah. now, Every day is a different toy, and so we're doing the holiday or the, the more Christmas traditional advent calendars, but then we're also making holi uh, Halloween countdown calendars too. Oh, that's cute. So I just don't know. Yeah. And Pokemon, luckily, it's you know it's such yeah. a lovely brand that you've got plush What is? Do you have the plush for Pokemon at Target? Mm -hmm. Okay. This will be yeah. part of the Vault's initial release. Okay. But. Again, it's only going to be available through the vault, and it will be in limited quantity. Okay. Some of this is like a work of a triad that unfolds this way. Next up, we have the Fortnite characters, and they make these really collectible boxes for them. This is what the Star Wars looks like all spread out. I don't even know how much money that would be. This is a real life Darth Vader suit. I think it's like two to three hundred. It could be more, more, don't quote me on that. But this is amazing if you wanted to go to like an expo or something. You could really get that. This is a Spider-Man costume. I think it runs more like 30 to 50. So it's a lot more affordable. But this would be great for like Halloween or something like that or a cosplay also and then we also have some more spidey sets and these are what they look like if you get close to them and they all can move and here are some of the awards they have won i'm not sure who all of these are i know that one is pikachu another pikachu set and then this was just a cute little thing you could pose with this is kind of the next new version of that, all space themed. Space is just really hot this holiday or this year in general. So you'll take the little space rover here and similar to like coding critters or something that yeah. you might be familiar with, yeah. you'll use the buttons to uh, navigate the space rover and using all the activities, um, that uh, using the playset accessories that come in the activity set, they can build their own space themed maze. Oh, that's cute. It's going to be the coding sequence that okay. I'm going to press and then they'll implement it on the rover itself. Cool. Insights newest coding okay. toy. It teaches you Blockly and Python for okay. real, which okay. are real coding languages. Yeah. So you'll learn those two languages on like a tablet or a computer. Or if you use the code activator, you can build your own codes and you can get Pixel to sit um, or pee on a fire hydrant or like do a whole bunch cute. of like, other tricks that yeah. really make it like coding your own code. Yeah. So it's very interactive. Artie yep. Max was a 2022 yeah. drop. So was Switcheroo Coding Crew, but you probably haven't been able to see this in person because right. of you no know, toy fair. But this one's cool because it has different shells that turn okay, them into yeah. emergency vehicles. So it's all the one car, but you can be a, a fire truck or a policeman or a construction truck if you wanted to. So, um, it's all, it was kind of inspired by the pandemic, a pandemic actually, like oh, right, yeah. heroes, like first responders, oh, right, kind right, of, yeah. like saving, yeah. you know, saving them on a mission kind yeah. of thing. Um, and there's little rescue missions that you can um, do and it comes in the activity card so i really like that one. Oh yeah that was like the big holiday one last year this one's new yes. for this year and it gives yeah. me steam vibes yeah you know so it's the seventh stem explorers pixel art i've actually yeah. seen a lot of pixel art yeah. throughout yes. yeah. i've walked around yeah. there's it's like almost bringing the digital world to yes. life yeah. So it's little foam tiles. It comes with 402 pieces, so don't lose track of them. Don't lose track of them. Um, and it comes on like one board, and it's literally oh, so stem art. Yes. You can make your own little duck, um, your your little anything. You can make anything you want. It includes some inspiration, but they can 
masterpieces. New for 2024. Uh -huh. I'm sure you know all about Geo Safari, yeah. all of those talking products that we've had in the past, like the microscope, mm -hmm. the telescope. But this is for the true, like, dinosaur obsessed kid. They get to look into the viewfinder and they'll have a dinosaur expert walk them through over 200 facts about dinosaurs and just all prehistoric animals from that period. Uh -huh. That was gonna be cool. This one's new for this year, actually, too. Rainbow Reactions Preschool Science Lab, teaching them about like colors. There's up to ten kids' safe experiments in it. It's a lot of like color mixing, um, and that one's cute. really yeah. really cute. Yeah, a more hands-on experiments. Yeah. We've had volcanoes in the past, but this kind of the same concept. Oh, right, they can make yeah. their own eruption. Yeah. Um, yeah. More kids' safe experiments. Yeah, we were like fully leaned into. That's why it's slow because it's mm -hmm. sad. Okay. Oh. And then when it gets to the other side with happy, it goes much faster. Oh. So slow. Oh, and happy. I like it. Yeah. And like that one because it's small, like very compact. Yeah. You can take that easily like on a trip. This is new for 2024, but I think mm -hmm. it makes a really um, nice set as well. It comes on a little ice tray. And there's four different fidgets that kids can use. So there's like a sifting. This is the squeezing right here. Mm -hmm. They can spin with this one. Oh, so yeah. if your kid's a fidgeter, this is a really yes. good thing to like put yeah. in a backpack. Um, maybe you like give it to them after school and use uh -huh. it to kind of talk through emotions um, while they, they fidget. Yeah. This one's new um, for winter. It has basically just came out. Oh, that's cute, right? I like it because it's you know kind of winter yeah. themed with the s'mores and same kind of concept uh, with the fidgeting, mm -hmm. right? So there's the pull and crank. There's a squish with the little oh, marshmallow right, right. Yeah. and this little cinnamon roll. And it does actually come with this activity card already put together. So there's like affirmations in here and finger tracing, all all sorts of like wellness activities. It even comes with this activity card. Aww to uh, learn how to identify different emotions, what it looks like when you're angry or excited. We love the sand. I know you love all things play foam. The sand is definitely yes. one of the most popular. It's been out for yes, two straight days us. at uh, Toy Fair here yeah. and it's been absolutely it just doesn't get old ever. Yeah. The sand is amazing. We haven't come out with a lot more sand activity sets. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's many planned for 2024. Yeah. Although these um, came out this year in 2024. Oh, right, right, right. The sweets. Yeah. And there's also like a cupcake cafe. There's a oh, pizza yeah. one. Those are all super cute. Yeah. <laughs> with the Big Feelings Pineapple Deluxe set, the Big Feelings Pineapple was mm -hmm. one of the best sellers, um, yeah. most popular ones coming out of 2020. So now we just doubled the amount of pieces that come with okay. it. So there's even more faces that you can make. It also comes with a little mirror now. So you can say like, how do you look when you're excited? Oh, or how cute. do you look when you're yeah. happy? Same concept though, that you can compare and contrast emotions because it mm -hmm. comes with um, two sides. Inspired by that same pineapple is the yeah. nesting fruit oh. friends. These give me like Russian doll kind of yeah. vibes, you know? So you learn stacking and damn, this is what kind of fine motor strength do you need for that um, one? So the strawberry, yeah. there's a grape inside of this one. So I like these. I think they're super cute. They are. For like a, a baby or something. Mm -hmm. Both of these new ones, I am uh, obsessed with this one. That one's like the happy, go with the flow, and this is like mm -hmm. the chaotic. You can't even like bring the... Oh, the old, really? Like, yeah. yeah, you can't even get the swirls like to the other side. It's so like compact, and that's exactly like how oh, a kid can yeah. feel when they don't know what they're feeling. I love the, how iridescent yeah. all of these look. This one's a very slow jam kind of um, sensory. So very similar to the original sensory uh, bottles, but these have just four different emotions. Okay. Um, so there'll be four more unique yeah. feelings that they'll learn. The puppets are out now. Oh, right. And right. actually, people have been like loving them. Oh, really? I, I okay, was skeptical yeah. at first. I was like, Cause they're like puppets. Like, yeah, yeah, puppets yeah. Anywhere. But no, like people have actually That's been awesome. really obsessing over them. They say it's really good quality and it yeah. has that SEL aspect to it as well because all of them have the different faces. Yeah. I'm sure you've seen the Mindful Maze at some point. I feel like we sent you these. Um, I don't think you sent me those. No, we have a or oh, right. on a trip yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. It's two double-sided ones, oh, so right. you can yeah. learn like the butterfly breath, and it works on finger tracing. So they 
<laughs> like inhale, exhale, oh, using these like iconic idea. breathing exercises. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're familiar with paws, we came out with Luna, the kitty version. Oh, They're the exact cute. same thing. Both uh, teaching breath exercises as well. As it gets brighter, you would inhale. As it gets oh. dimmer, you exhale. And it comes with a timer. It changes lights, and it doubles as a night light. So I think it's like amazing awesome. as a gift, yeah. as a like yeah. pre bedtime routine. Yeah. So I put it there on yeah. the Maybe after you read a book, you yeah. then go through a reading exercise, a breathing yeah. exercise. Sorry. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a cafe. I'm not a hundred percent sure if this one is already out or not. Okay. But I will find out for you. Look at these tea bags. Oh, those are cute. Each with little like the animations and the yeah. design here. I'm obsessed with. Okay. The yeah. like. Uh, cinnamon and like nutmeg and mm -hmm. all dealing with social oh. emotional learning the grateful green tea excited espresso so it's not just like happy sad yeah. you're learning like lonely you're learning different branches of like yeah. what it means to be all these different emotions yeah. and I'm and they make it relatable with like animals so I'm absolutely obsessed with this one that's cute and it has like a little interactive beverage dispenser Aww. for kids who love like pretend kitchen like yeah. I think this they wouldn't even know that they're learning right right know? right yeah the elephant in the room oh yeah so they start they learn about prepositions the okay. mice is on top of the elephant the elephant is in the room the cat is on top of the table so they learn it's a word yeah. activity set um but they don't even realize that they're learning right because they're just like playing with the little cat and mice yeah and learning you know, basic oh, words, yeah. yeah. And it comes with on top of the rug. Aww. The elephant is in the couch, or on the couch, in the couch. Oh, that's yeah. cute. I love yeah. this one. I think for back to school or like an early preschool activity, I'm obsessed. Yeah, I like it. Oh. We have it? Oh, okay. okay. Well, so this is going to be the brand new Canoodle coming out spring 2024. Canoodle is a TikTok viral game. TikTok is usually the one that influences you to buy stuff, right? Okay. Yeah. Well, we were influenced by our TikTok creators and we listened to the comments. Uh, what people wanted, they wanted different designs. So we gave them a little metallic um, kind of marbly kind of design on this one. and. We got the first battery operated canoodle. So technically, okay. you don't need the batteries to play canoodle, but you can time yourself. Oh, so this is a timer. Cool. You can yeah. go against your friends, guess who has like the, the faster playing time. No cheating because it says it right there. And that's what's going to be coming out new. And it's 500 new versions of like this puzzle, like 500 cool. ways to play. Yeah, I'll find it. Yep. That one's called Ultimate Champion. Pyramid is new for this year. Nominated for Grown Up Toy of the Year here at the Toadies. Mm -hmm. And same kind of shape and mostly the same kind of colors as the original, right? Like the mm -hmm. hot pink um, swirly one over here, but you have to make it into a 3D shape. So okay. This one's like yeah. extra challenging. Yeah. I think that makes a really good um, uh -huh. gift for like a tween, like an eight oh, to right, ten year right. old around yeah. there. That one's a really good one. And if you're just like way too good at Canoodle, then Canoodle Extreme is the best one to have because it has the most ways to play. Okay. Yeah. Because you can like stack. Uh, it's like slightly different shapes that like go um, get together. So yeah. Oh. Literally have to go like across. Like it's 2024 okay. item. All these figure sets are available now. So if you're a Number Blocks fan and you uh -huh. like building your favorite characters, this is going to be like the set oh, for you. Yeah. There's also there's one and two that are best friends in the show, yeah, but there's also two and four because uh, two times two is four. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. So it's all about it's bringing learning math into the physical world. These three, also new for 2024, the Number Blocks Monster, that's like the villain in the oh, in the show. So like yeah. all of these activity sets are inspired by real life episodes. Okay. Like we didn't just make up the sheep farm, they go to oh, like a sheep cool. farm or yeah. something, you know? You know, same thing with the Pattern Palace game down here. It's pantomime actually doesn't um, 
uh -huh. have a lot of games. This is the first year that they're kind of like diving into okay. the game world. So uh -huh. Pattern Palace, the Memory Match game, okay. and they have a few others too um, oh, cool. that have become really, really popular. If you're a number block fan, uh -huh. which always and then oh, the whole, is, right? This is uh, oh. number five, Cute. number three, number oh. two, number one, Aww. number blocks headquarters. Oh, cute. Mission headquarters. Wow. They figure in the, in oh, the seat, cute. right? Isn't that funny? Yeah. Big mailbox. Yeah. Tell me these stamps are not oh. so adorable, very high quality. They learn, yeah, they learn the alphabet and they get to put it on top of the postcard. But the postcards are like a dry erase, oh, so yeah. they're wipeable. You can use them again and again. They'll learn about like object identification even, lowercase, low, um, uppercase. And when you open the mailbox, the, the flag goes up oh, when cute. it's closed and goes down yep. when it's open. I can even see this during holiday too, like um, sending a letter to Santa or something. Oh, right. like, yeah. Yeah. Like, drop it in there. Yeah. Like, these, okay. these are all out now actually. They're new. Yeah. Yeah. Skill Builders yeah. is a line that we've recently like developed yeah. even more. And now we're getting more into like into 2024. And this whole show right here. Uh -huh. is all their go green. Let's go here. Two plus two equals how much? Yeah. You can put this here every card on the side. Counting. Oh, okay. sorry. Yeah. As little anymore. anymore yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but still, these are all really, really cute. Peekaboo oh. Learning Jungle. Yeah. Um, these are an iconic one from 2020, the Peekaboo oh, right. Learning yeah. Farm. This is one of our newest fine motor friends. It's like a fidgeter as well. Oh. They can like pull and spin and crank. Uh, for sensory fine motor. Of course, our iconic Spike. Yes. Spike is now a bath toy. Aww. A little pop-in shape sorter as well. Uh -huh. Nice, squishable. And That's a cute. tissue cup. Oh, I love it. This one's so cute. Oh, I like these cupcakes over there. Oh, yeah. The dinos. Yeah. Cupcakes. It's my favorite number, too. Oh, uh, oh the farmer's market. I oh, I did a unit. Yeah, because... Oh, and the cash register is classic. Yeah. Um, different yeah. ones. A lot of different ways to play it. Like, it's a pop-up. Yeah. I was telling you the different jingles, okay? Okay, so now... Do you hear that? The drum is different. Uh -huh. Or the cymbals. Okay, so those two didn't match. But now I have to try another one. That was like a bell. Okay. So I know these two aren't it, so I'm going to try another one. Wrong. It's memory matching, but still. Now yeah. I got that. Okay, yeah. Okay. okay so that go. one's that game. We can keep going. Yeah. I love this one. Mm -hmm. And I love the big buttons and stuff. It's mm -hmm. great for totally, yeah. younger kids and obviously older, like yeah. people who need help or people yeah. who don't have the physical to do the, the other ones. And then there's this one, which is the following one. Did you do that one already? So no. I had just turned it on. <laughs> you have to remember which one wasn't lit. Oh, that's how the, these work. And it times uh, right? you, so then you can try to beat your score and do all those things. That game and is how these a, originally work, right? Okay, yeah, so, so that you have to remember. Sing. This one is one game, and it does that. So on this one, you would turn it on, same kind of thing, but it's harder because it's more, The buttons right? are smaller. Yeah. I've definitely so, lost this one a bunch of times because my finger accidentally hits another button that wasn't right. it. Oh, yeah, I have got <laughs> fingers. I haven't done that yet, but... Okay, so I messed up. The cool thing is... I can be like, I want to try this one over. I want to get this puzzle, so I can yeah. just do the repeat, and it will play oh, the same yeah, one, cool. yeah. so I can, oh, so yeah. I can land. So you can yeah. master. And I want to say he's no. like Bruce is the lowest one. Okay. Those are all so popular. So, so you know, we like to make. Um, it's it's you know fast paced group game. Mm -hmm. Everybody yeah. gets sixty seconds, so you can tell it how many people you have, mm -hmm. and then it's going to ask you a question like, you know, uh, something in the refrigerator. To, you know, say something in the refrigerator with the letter M, and so you say milk or whatever and hit it. So I'll turn it on. It is a, it is working, but and we did. I don't know if we can. Donuts, and I like that the the box is part of the play as well. Oh, so you'll right, have a spinner. Yeah. It'll tell you like uh, the order that you basically need to do. So if we were to do that one, we would you know grab one of these. Yeah. You can toys. The acorns. Yeah. 
that they can't get it yet. Yes. And then this hammerhead number part, I actually, um, it's kind of competitive, right? So like right. the multiple, um, the equation comes out, right? Like this one, like what plus what equals three. And then you would have a bunch of sharks out, right? So if I could, oh, zero, something minus something equals three. So it'd be like, um, oh, wow. and you use the hammerhead as a suction. Oh, that's cute. Next up, we have taco cat goat cheese pizza games. There are a lot of variations. This is a very popular game. It looks like a lot of fun. We actually have a lot of these. They also had this 800 gorilla game that just came out. My kids love playing it. You have to guess like what is the middle gorilla, the largest gorilla, and you have to like put your finger on it and see if you get it. Um, next up, we have guilty game. I, it looked like a lot of fun. I have jury duty that I didn't have to go to this month, but it was really on my mind. Panini, which makes a lot of sports cars. We got a Stranger Things. We got some, it looks like some books down there. A Monopoly. They're working with Hasbro on the Monopoly game right there, which looks, I think that's going to be a hot toy for boys uh, or girls. My son really likes trading cards right now. And they were generous and gave us some. So thank you very much. We have this gallery art. I had to put this in there because I like art a lot, but look at this. And then next up we have all true, all true um, Hazana. And I love all the different cultures that are represented. And you can get these everywhere it looks like. And they have some really pretty designs. It's a very different. And I think it's great to immerse kids in different cultures. And I think this would be a great thing to get your kids look. They have paint sets. And next up we have is Zing. And they are all about fun and like marshmallow blasters. How fun is that? I was having so much fun with that. And then we've got lots of different just shooting items that you can go zing, ring, as, and all of this stuff. You know, it gives you an alternative to Nerf. And then this is a little uh, bird that you can throw, which looks like a lot of fun. Little sticks. Um, dart, oh, not dart, well, I'd, I'll, have, I'll remember later, but <laughs> boomerangs over here, just a lot of fun things to encourage outdoor play, which I'm all about because I'm like, my son's like, I want to be on my iPad. I'm like, no, go outside. And this would give them something fun to do. And then this is a, these are like tops and this is some of their like younger kids line for like preschoolers and younger kids. What did you guys think of all the toys? Was that so amazing? It was amazing to see. Like, I am in awe every time I go. And I just want to thank all of the toy companies that were there and for inviting me in and let me and letting me see what they have. It was a real fun experience. I'm still tickled every time I get in that building in the Javits Center. I'm like, it's Toy Fair. It's starting. This is going to be fun. It's going to be tiring, but it's going to be fun because there's so many cool toys. I hope you guys like this video. Check out some of my other Toy Fair videos, Toy Fair Part 1. And if you want to see some of the toys that came out in other years that might still be around, check out the Toy Fair from years past, 2019 and 2020, because that's the last time it was held. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.